G'day, g'day, my name's Jim, and today we're going to be taking a squeeze of the Yazido Chainsaw Chain Sharpener. The Yazito Chainsaw Sharpener is available for $79.50, me love you, long-time sailor boy, at your local Bunnings hardware store. Manufacturers claim it is suitable for a 0.325 and 3 8 pitch chains, as well as it's bench mountable. You can use from a 1.5 amp battery to a 5 amp battery, batteries not included, that they claim will last you all day, and then some. This machine, in my opinion, is pretty bloody badly designed. There seem to be a lot of shortcuts made, like having this stupid tightening wheel placed sticking out of the bottom of the bloody thing, so it'll never actually stand up unless it's hanging off the side of the bench. Instead of moving that screw to a better location or putting a bigger base on the machine so it could actually be recessed inside of it, they just went, yeah, fuck it, let's just take it off the end of the bench and we can save ourselves 50 cents. Okay, so check this out. This has to be bolted to the bench, right? But they don't supply the fasteners for it. And the first thing you'll notice is you can't even use normal screws. You have to at least use a batten screw or bolts, but who the hell wants a chainsaw sharpener bolted to their bloody bench and taking up that space? Of course the alternative is you grab a big ass lump of wood like a stair tread or a H4, but now your portable chainsaw sharpener is a big lump of wood hanging off the prick. Now, have a look where they put these holes. You can't even get your bloody driver in there. This is absolutely stupid. You're probably saying, well, they're designed for bolts. Well, perhaps they should have supplied the friggin' bolts because I have a giant ass workshop for somebody who's, you know, not a tradie or a friggin' hobbyist and I'm fucked if I can find any bolts that fit this thing and of course then I've got to bloody recess the base of it so the heads of the bolts don't stick out and all the kinds of the bullshit. So you're going to need a drill, and you're going to need drill bits, and you're going to need spanners, and you're going to need your bolts, and what the fuck? Seriously, just build the fucking thing with a clamp on it that clamps to the fucking bench, and a clamp that you can remove, so you can bolt it to something if you really want to. But now, it's portable again. That's why it's battery operated. Why would you buy a battery operated something or other to bolt the fucker to the fucking bench, or bolt it to such a giant piece of ass fucking wood that... <clears throat> okay, so let's chuck an Azito chainsaw chain actually in this machine and we'll see what kind of a job it does. By tightening and loosening the bottom front knob allows you to adjust the chain clamp angle from 0 to 35 plus or minus. Now, without the big lump of wood hanging off the bastard, it actually weighs about 1.7 kilos, which is pretty light. It's pretty good for a portable unit. However, the design flaws just keep on coming. Now how this is supposed to work is you adjust the depth of the sharpener with this knob on the back and then adjust the chain position with this screw on the side. Once it's all set up perfectly then you just pull the sharpener down onto the front of the tooth giving you a perfect angle and depth every time. You then loosen the chain clamp and slide the chain to its next tooth facing the same direction and then once all the teeth are done on one side turn the clamp angle to the opposite side in this case 30 degrees and repeat the process. Now that's how it's supposed to work however the design and build quality is so shitty that not only does the chain clamp flex changing the position of the chain the whole top arm flexes so it wildly puts out the geometry by so much if you didn't know to push and pull the disc off and on the teeth it would totally destroy your blade instantly some teeth wouldn't be touched other teeth be so deep into the heel there'd be nothing left of them and the flex is not just the fulcrum, the pivot point, it's the whole unit flexing, including the base. Okay, I think you've seen enough. Let's go ahead and score this thing. Portability, fail. Because you have to bolt the bitch to the bench or a friggin' big railway sleeper. What's the point of having a battery operated fucking machine? And unless, of course, you've got no power in your shed. Convenience of use, fail. It's not convenient at all. It takes forever to set up and root around and to get it running. Parts availability. Pass. You can buy spare cutting discs and wheels for these things. However, I don't think you'd ever need one because you're going to throw it in the bin a fucking hell of a long time before then. You're going to destroy a hell of a lot of chains to get that wheel down far enough to replace it. As advertised. Fail. This is how Bunnings advertises this product. 
Keep your chainsaw sharp and ready to go with the Azito Cordless Chainsaw Sharpener, designed for fast and consistent chain sharpening. Well, that's bullshit, because it's definitely not fast, and it's far off consistent. In fact, that almost makes me lull. The sharpener includes user-friendly controls. What? What the fuck are you talking about? Controls? What, an off on button? Fast, efficient, professional results. Product is intended for DY use only. Oh my god, that's hilarious. It's so funny to see professional and DUI only in the same sentence. Yeah, I'm pretty sure if you tried to sell this to a logger or something, you'd probably throw it at your head. Okay, so here's a summary. It's a piece of shit, don't buy it. And if you are going to buy it, make sure you buy it for somebody you don't like. Okay, boys and girls, well, that's it for me. I hope you enjoyed the video and found it useful. If you liked it, please take the time to sign in and thumbs up or leave a message on your thoughts on this machine. Was I too hard on it? Will you still buy it? If you know of any better brands, please let me know because I'd like to check them out. All right, peoples, I want you to be good. Stay safe. Don't do anything I wouldn't want to watch. And we'll see you around like a wrist old trendsetters. Play the music. Oompa, oompa, dibbidi do. I've got a dick that's bigger than. Techno, techno. The AEG brushless chainsaw has a 12 inch bar, retails for 329 Australian bum fucks at your local Aussie Bunnings. Fucked it up again. Taking off the chain and tightening the bar. <coughs> the AEG brushless chainsaw has a 12 inch bar, retails for 329 Aussie bum fucks at your local Bunnings. Fuck, why can't I do that? Check one two, check one two, check 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 check. Swear, if anybody heard this shit, they probably think I was losing my mind.